right, so after a night in Reserve, New Mexico, uh, we are back at Highway 12 at the trailhead. All right, a little chilly. I do have to let it be known that we're currently on the Pie Town um, Roadwalk alternate. So we did choose to take this roadwalk, but the reason we chose to take it is because the actual trail itself kind of loops around and there's like, there isn't much water at all on the trail. So there was more water on this trail. And right now, like water kind of dictates everything out here. That's the one. Looks like park turtle, park lizard. Look at that. Where are you going, dude? Get back here. <laughs> All right, 10 miles, super early. It's like not even three o'clock. We have picnic tables and a public privy up here. So uh, this is where this is home for the night. And we just had a little trail match. So before we came over to this little campground to find somewhere to set up for the night. Uh, we ended up running over to the water cache, which is right over there by the road. And we got a little bit of trail magic. It just so happened that Jetta was there filling the caches when we were there. And she had some ice cold sun-kissed orange sodas for us. So we're kind of spoiled tonight. We're going to have a sh sugary goodness with our supper. Told me to grab my camera and said that we might want to reconsider where we are currently camping. And uh, I'm seeing now why she says that. <laughs> Shoots. Okay, something's been feasting. Something has been feasting over here. It's freezing out. It's like we were planning on leaving at 6 and it's 6 o'clock now. But, but it's really, really cold. Uh, I've been so cold the past couple nights that I've been, I was questioning my Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt. I've had this quilt for a couple years now. It's always served me well. But I've been catching some drafts the past couple nights and freezing and the fact that, you know, my I have a leaking mattress pad doesn't help my cause. So, um, I have a new mattress pad in Pie Town that I'm picking up tomorrow. So, I'm looking forward to that. I picked up an x pad. I'm hoping it works out for me. And last night, I broke down and I ordered a sleeping bag. Uh, I ordered a new sleeping bag from uh, Z-Packs. Because uh, I think I'm going to send this revelation home and maybe sell this thing. It served me well for a couple years. It's still a great quilt, but... I'm just questioning the whole quilt system right now and my whole sleep system because I've, I've been cold and I don't want to be cold at night because being cold is stupid. So the plan was to leave at 6 o'clock in the morning. It is now 8.40. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh it's 8.40 and we're finally leaving. <laughs> uh, the good news is we are in no rush whatsoever because we both have boxes and stuff going to Pie Town. And they're not quite there yet. At least my stuff isn't. So, um, and the other downside is the pie shop's closed on Tuesdays, right? So, we're looking at getting into Pie Town on a Tuesday. So, we're in no rush. We camped not too far from here. And this is the water cache I was talking about yesterday. But um, I just want to give a massive shout out and a thank you to Jetta. Because this would be like a 20, 21 mile stretch with no water. If she didn't come out of her way, she drives like an hour to come out here to make sure that all of us CDT hikers have water. So thank you so much, Jetta. If you see this, we really, really appreciate it. Woo. 
All right, deer up there. Little babies running off. And look, here we go. The rest of them running off. Deer right up over there. Two deer. Hey, deer. Walk into uh, the Vila RV Ranch, whatever it is. Blah, 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 blah. Patty. Ah. I'll give you some room. <laughs> what did you just say? Huh? I don't care if I'm a loser, I'm like you. Well, yeah, see, that's because I'm a winner, and I would be very upset with myself <laughs> if I was a loser. Oh, man. We're almost to the Vila Ranch. We're under five miles now. And, um... They have eggs and potatoes there that we can cook. All right, so we made it to Davila Ranch, and this is gonna be our home for the night. Um, place is pretty awesome. They got like some pork and beans, some coffee and stuff for hikers, a washing machine, and then look at this. They got a refrigerator full of eggs and potatoes for, for all of us hikers to use. So we're all kind of getting together right now, and we're chopping up, we're making a whole bunch of french fries right now. Getting our chop on. And uh, if you're a CDT hiker and if you come through here, do me a favor and make sure you donate to these people because this, they do a great service here for hikers and they hook, hook us up with free food and um, a great place to camp out here and there's water and a place to do all the dishes. There's a really nice bathroom. There's a shower, but they do ask for donations. So they have a donation box here and they also have, you can donate via pen pal or pay PayPal and Venmo. So, Davila Ranch. Hey, uh, if you guys are watching this, thank you so much. Oh yeah, got them French fries going. Oh yeah, we do. Woohoo! We got a whole team at work here, man. We got slicers. Dicers. We got dicers. We got Julianers. We got Julianers. <laughs> we got enticers. We got uh. Chicken man, we got everything. Look at this. And when we're done, we're going to drink the oil because we need the calories. <laughs> we're over there on dish duty, cleaning up the mess we made. Woohoo! <sighs> it's a great little hiker haven here, man. Hey, what's your trail name? Where are you from? Pocket Rocket from Germany. Woohoo! And you? Oh, just Jim from Springfield, Missouri. Awesome. And who are you? Pockets. Oh, from Alma. <laughs> and who are you? Good fun. Good fun from Texas. Awesome. And this is Davila Ranch, and we ate like probably 10 pounds of potatoes <laughs> earlier. And I don't know, probably like 24 chickens probably had a day of laying eggs, and we ate them all. So it was delicious. <laughs>